everyone, it's Kelsey here. Today I'm going to show you a layout using the new collection from Crate Paper, which is called Craft Market. Um, and this large 12 by 12 paper is actually from the Notes and Things collection because I don't have any papers from the Craft Market collection yet. Um, but um, I thought it complemented this collection just because um, it is a Crate Paper paper. Um, and it's got the craft tones, which the craft market collection also has. So I just thought it would work well. So I started out with this idea of cutting out these chevrons from this paper and kind of doing a border. Um, and it really, it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to in the end. Um, so, I mean, um, you'll see how it turns out in the end, but yeah, it didn't end up going the direction that I wanted to. Um, the other thing about this layout is I've really been craving a layout doing a bunch of triangle punches or triangle die cuts. Um, but I don't have a triangle punch, so now I'm, like, really wanting a triangle punch. And all these triangle-inspired papers and ephemera just make me want to do it even more. <laughs> so, and this paper was definitely um, something that made me want to do a triangle layout. Anyway, so here you can tell I'm trying. I even flipped this paper upside down to see if the colors would pop more. And I'm just really trying to make these chevrons work, but I felt like it just looked like jagged teeth or something. I don't know. It just wasn't quite right. So um, I did, I, I really, really like this paper. Um, I like the blue, like it's like a light blue and then a navy chevron on that paper. So I decided to cut the cut out chevron pieces off of it and make these into like a banner or a pennant. And I do really like the way that turned out. So sometimes you start out with an idea or some inspiration and it just doesn't really work. And sometimes it goes in an entirely different direction. Um, so I cut, cut the corners to make some uh, corner pieces and honestly now that I'm looking at the video I don't really like them I like them in person a little bit more but I don't really like those um corners um so yeah once my chevron idea kind of went out the window I I was a little bit lost and especially adding those banners in there so even though I do like the way this layout turned out in the end it was a little bit of a, a stumbling block for me I guess but I'm just happy to be scrapbooking. I've actually done two layouts recently with some really new collections, and I'm just really excited to be using up, like, really new product and, like, getting it used right away, not a week or two weeks later. So, yeah, I was kind of proud of myself. Um, so as you can see, I'm really just going through the ephemera a lot on this. Um, I was kind of going to go with, like, a little bit of a diagonal, from like left to right, and I just don't really like the way that it turned out, honestly. So I am going to fumble around with more pieces and pull some of the pieces out, and yeah, like I said, this layout was like a very strange process for me, um, but like I said, I do like the way it turned out in the end, so um, I, I don't know, there's not a whole lot left to say about this layout, but yeah, I just like the way it turned out. So um, here's something I could bring up. If you guys know of a good adhesive, please let me know. I'm still not 100% sold one way or the other on this American Crafts, um, this to that adhesive. Um, the price is all right, but I just don't like the quality of the glue. I don't feel like it's sticking as good as it should, and the refills run out super quick. So um, let me know if you have any recommendations. And I would be eager to try something new out. So, so um, another thing that's going to be kind of on my mind is, or that is on my mind, is um, my one little word. I'm still trying to come up with something else new and different that I want to do with my one little word. So um, I, ha I don't feel like I've utilized my one little word as much as I want to this year. Um, so I'm definitely going to be changing that up a little bit. So gotta gotta get on track with this stuff. It's already March and I've barely done anything with it. I did um, two projects and I think I'm gonna do a journaling project, but that's 
a little bit harder to relate to you guys because um, I'm not going to journal on video on camera like a lot. So I'll probably share that with you guys, but it probably won't be as detailed of a video or as much of a process video. But anyway, yeah, so that's what's on my mind tonight. Um, but back to the layout. Um, the other thing I want to do soon is do a layout with a bunch of tags. Um, and then I kind of used two of the sticker tags on this layout, but I think it'll be really fun to do a tag layout and maybe even like cut my picture out in the shape of a tag. I don't know. I'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, so I was really trying to bring in more of the mint and green color that pop out in this collection. And so as you can see, I kind of went with this navy mint, a little bit of pink color scheme. Um, and then this craft background, which I think the craft background kind of threw me, even though I really like this background. And the colors are toned down. It is still a little bit of a busy background with the triangles in the pattern. So maybe that's what was throwing me on this layout. I'm not quite sure. Um, anyway, but I really like the, t the two tags. And I just put those little postage stamp ephemera on there. And I really like that because I never use the postage stamp ephemera. I don't know why, but I just don't. I... Because I guess it looks weird to have a B postage stamp on a layout that's just about a selfie. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm really trying hard this year not to take things quite so literally in scrapbooking. Um, so sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But I'm just trying to let go of that part of myself. <laughs> so then I'm playing with these thickers. I used to hate thickers with um, different colors or patterns on each uh, letter, but I actually really, really like it this year. Isn't it funny how things change like so drastically, like your opinions on things? Anyway, so I really um, just love this alphabet set. It's also from Craft Market, and I really like the font and the size. You get 211 letters, so I think that's a really good deal. But yeah, that's pretty much going to finish it up. So the title is obviously just another selfie because I've been taking a ton of selfies lately, but really liking them. So um, they've been good photos to scrapbook. And I'm just really making sure that they're stuck down because they are chipboard. And the chipboard thickers seem to not be as good at sticking. So anyway, here's some other layouts that you guys might want to check out. I'll have links to those if you could just click on the photo. And if you would just please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out a lot. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Have a great day.